ShireSociety.com. supporting this issue and can you tell me a little bit about it it's an interesting question actually I, I used to be really against it uh, I used to uh, I, I wrote an article I guess in, in uh, maybe 2003 called ditching the secessionist millstone mm-hmm. I didn't like the idea that uh, liberty activists were associated with it but over time you know when you see this connection between the federal government and New Hampshire government how it corrupts New Hampshire which is a fairly innocent place and uh, the, the arrests that they perpetrate the million pages, literally, of laws and regulations that they have telling us all what we can't do every day, um, that starts to change your thinking about something like that. And so eventually, yeah, I, I became uh, a secessionist. Do you remember, like, that moment when you changed your mind or, like, the thing that sparked it? No, I don't. No? It must have been really gradual. It must have been like a frog <laughs> boiling kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so how long do you have this planned, or was it because of um, the Brexit? Uh, yeah, the Brexit was really more serendipitous than anything else. Um, once it happened, I knew we did, we could probably capitalize on that. But I started, I was planning this a little bit before that happened. Yeah, you had a quote on your Facebook, something about Britain. What was that? Uh, if Britain can do it, why can't we? I like that. All right, so um, I'm just going off the cuff here, but um, what can you tell me about the protest that's going to be today? Uh, well, the idea is to pick up litter around this uh, federal building, which is a dirty influence on our state. Now, I don't know how much litter they left here, but um, it's the one thing we can actually do today that's concrete. And it also sort of sends a different message from the message that was sent at Fort Sumter, right? You know, you don't, you know, we, we, we want to be a constructive force as opposed to uh, con- confronting the, the, the federal government in an ugly way, like has been done in some cases. So, so you're saying like the trash is symbolic of or picking up trash, rather, would be symbolic? Yeah, it's like cleaning up Washington's dirty influence. Yeah, that's what I call it. Um, All right. Um, you said you only know a few of the people here? Yeah, I only know about probably half of them, I would say. It's interesting. I haven't been all that... I've, I've been doing my channel, you know, my YouTube channel for 10 years almost. That's been the priority, and I've sort of done fewer and fewer protests. But I used to do this kind of thing. Uh, the, the socializing with the Liberty folks and the protests and stuff like that. I'd kind of gotten away from that, you know, in the last uh, seven or eight years, and this is sort of pushing back into it because it's necessary. We, we need to do this. We need to cut this tie. All right. So is there anything else you want to add? Federal government tortures people. New Hampshire doesn't torture people. <laughs> Simply put. <laughs> um, I feel like I had a whole, like, laundry list of things <laughs> I wanted to ask you. Well, just ask yourself who, what, where, when, why, and then ask me those questions. True. <laughs> well, I know who you are. Oh, I know okay. what you're doing. I know why you're doing it. Yeah, okay. I think I'm good. All right, good. Unless you can think of anything. Please help. Yeah, I will probably <laughs> think of something. I mean, there, there's so many. It's, it's one of those things where there's just so many things that you can't name them all. Yet. So many grievances. Are. Pardon? I got a good one. Oh, okay. All right. So what message do you want to send specifically through doing this? Uh, New Hampshire needs to be treated like Quebec and Scotland, where the central government treats them cautiously. They do it because there are strong independence movements there. We don't have that here. We're going to have probably some kind of fascist or communist running this country in a couple of years. So we need a strong independence movement here to deter them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So... You see mostly the pros. Are there any cons to doing this? Uh, yeah, it's not popular yet. I mean, only according to, was it, I think it was Reuters, indicated that only 24% of Americans support their state leaving the, or their, uh, yeah, their state leaving the union. Um, so we'd have to get that number above 50%. But, you know, it's not, not necessarily impossible. And then what's next? Uh, New Hampshire decides its own fate, you know. Uh, I'm not sure what that will look like. But again, we have the historical precedents in Estonia and Slovenia and what they did with the independence they got. They're so much better off without their central governments. So. All right. All right.
Can you think of anything else? All right, yeah, either way, there is something I'm missing, and I just can't remember what it is. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.